guys welcome back to all illuminate 11 on this thursday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you're looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session to regain your power as a divine feminine then you can contact me via my email or my website details are in the description box below you can also check out uh, my blog post for this september which is standing in your power as a divine feminine and the link is in the description box below because this is what we're really being guided to do right now which is why i was also guided to do that video about doubt you know it's because it is all about you stepping into your power and the more you are in this place of, of observing the doubt when it does come in and realizing that it is all just part of the process and really sort of then finding ways to neutralize it you know and keep moving forward towards unwavering faith that you are actually stepping into your power so you if you haven't checked out that video do check it out you know this is all part of helping you to really sort of step in your power as a divine feminine so what we are going to do for this video uh we are going to bring in the divine structure for twin flame readings to see what messages are coming through today that we're going to ask in relation to the journey so thank you angels what messages what questions are coming through today in relation to the journey what questions are coming through today in relation to the journey what questions okay i'm going to take these back because that's half of the deck and just do that again thank you angels what questions are coming through today in relation to the journey okay they're really jumping out okay so we've got a few now that have jumped out here so let's see the very first one that came out is timing for union so that's the first card that came out so timing for union so we're going to bring in the divine uh, the divine timing deck because as we all know you know everything is in divine timing and um but we're going to see what the angels would like you to know so thank you angels what is the timing for union what is the timing for union thank you angels what do we need to know in relation to timing for union what do we need to know in relation to timing for union thank you angels what else do we need to know in relation to timing for union okay is there any other messages coming through in relation to timing for union okay that's that so let's see. So the first card that came out is divine intervention. So the angels are showing you here that when it comes to union, it is all about that divine intervention. You know, the creator sort of coming in to help that union to come in at the right time for you. So, you know, there is divine intervention that is helping to bring in the union at the right time. So it's about that letting go and surrendering the journey and trusting it all to come in at the right time because it is all the journey that comes from the creator and it's the divine intervention that will bring in the union at the right time for you and we are also moving into the time of autumn which is autumn time which is a time of release so there is sort of that release that is coming in that letting go of things as we move more you know as we move into autumn we are already in autumn here in the northern hemisphere so it is a time of release that will help to bring in that union as well so this is about the things that need to go the fears the karmic situations this is the time that we're going into of releasing the things that need to go to help to bring in that union and the next card that came out as well so this is powerful we've got the sagittarius so we've got autumn and then sagittarius which is november to december so this could be a timing for union for others but this is really showing that divine intervention is coming in as you know releasing is coming in as well and we move into november december this is a time or that will be bringing in power in relation to the journey and then we also have capricorn time so sagittarius and capricorn so these are really following each other november to december and then december to january so the angels are showing you here that there is power that is coming in we're moving into this time of autumn that is all about release so you know autumn is like sort of um october we're going into october and then we're moving into november december december january and then we're also going to bring in uh, springtime, you know, next year, which is all about fertility. So this is showing you that, you know, the, the journey is moving forward as you move towards, towards union and 
there is going to be the building of foundations as well. So, you know, when it comes to the actual time, there is no sort of specific time that is given. For some, there is there is some significant change coming in during this time of Sagittarius Capricorn time, you know, because there's the autumn that is about releasing. And then we go into this time as we move towards Christmas. And then for others, you know, this is about moving into the time of spring and as you build the foundations as well that will be the foundations that will lead to that union so those are the messages that are coming through but the main message is about the divine intervention coming in to help it all to come in at the right time for you and your divine masculine and the cards the other cards that came out so let's have a look so divine energy of the divine feminine is the next question so what is the energy of the divine feminine so we're going to bring in my deck, the Divine Feminine Illumination deck. So thank you, angels. What is the energy of the Divine Feminine? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Energy of the Divine Feminine. Okay. And we're also going to bring in the Almost Tarot for this one. So thank you, angels. Energy of the Divine Feminine. What is the energy of the Divine Feminine? Thank you, angels. Energy of the Divine Feminine. Wow, really jumping out there. Okay, so the cards that came out for the Divine Feminines. So the first one is nature. So the angels are saying it's about going out in nature, connecting with nature. That is really going to help you as a Divine Feminine. As a Divine Feminine, I ensure that I go out in nature as often as I possibly can to clear my head, ground myself, connect with the angels and the natural world and restore my divine feminine power. You know, and we're talking about standing in your power, you know, really powerful that this has come out. So this is another way for you to restore your divine feminine power, for you to stand in your divine feminine power by going out in nature i am always going out in nature so this is a message for you for what you ought to do as a divine feminine to help yourself on this journey and the next card that came out is sensuality and it says as a dynamic divine feminine and a beautiful goddess who knows her worth i am allowing myself to explore and express my sensual desires. So this is about you be, being, you know, knowing your worth and being the goddess that you are. You know, this is about you sort of loving your life and loving yourself and being, you know, being able to express yourself in whatever way that you wish to express yourself. And, you know, exploring and expressing your sensual desires as well. This is about you being that beautiful, nurturing and caring, but also you know that sexy divine feminine that goddess that you are and really being there to embrace your femininity and your or your divine feminine power as well and you know if you are feminine then it is about embracing your femininity but if you are masculine as well it's about that sort of standing in your divine feminine power because we all have that feminine energy within us so it's about embracing that feminine energy that is within you and really sort of you know being there to to, to sort of step in your power in relation to that I am embracing my sensuality. So that is the other message. And that is what will help you as a divine feminine as well to really stand in your power. And the last card that came out is intuition. So this is about connecting with your intuition. And it says, by listening more to my quieter inner voice of wisdom that only wants the best for me, I am trusting my intuition to positively guide me through life. I am always listening to my intuition. So this is all, this also helps you as a divine feminine. The question was the energy of the divine feminine. It's about connecting with your intuition because that is how you're being guided on your journey of life. You know, so it is about you connecting with your inner world, connecting with your intuition and listening to your intuition to the guidance that is coming through. And the cards that came out as well that uh, for the divine feminine as confidence. So this is about you having that confidence in yourself as a divine feminine. You know, have confidence in your journey as well. You know, releasing that that doubt and that fear, and really standing in your confidence that that union is going to come in at the right time. You know, trusting and having faith that divine intervention is coming in to bring your union for you in the time that is right for both you and your divine masculine. So it's about having that confidence as a divine feminine as well. 
and then the next card is higher calling really beautiful so this is about you sort of listening to the higher calling that is coming in you know that higher calling towards your mission towards your purpose towards you know what what you are truly here to do as a divine feminine and that's about letting go of the fear letting go of you know or, or uh, and stepping in your power and really moving forward towards a higher calling going to your heart you know listening to your heart's desires what are you being called to to do what is your soul calling you to do and it's about going forward towards those things it's about moving forward towards your passion as well you know the things that you're passionate about and doing those things that's about you moving forward towards your higher calling really really powerful and the next one is resurrection so divine feminine the energy of you right now is about you going through this time of resurrection it's like you know you are that beautiful butterfly you know that goddess that beautiful butterfly butterfly that is moving forward towards your higher calling you know to and also going through this time of transformation and resurrection from the person and that you were before as you really move towards becoming the greatest version of yourself so you're going through this time of resurrection as well which is helping you on your journey and gratitude as well is another thing for the divine feminine and i talked about this in the video that i did on doubt you know gratitude really helps to uplift your spirits it also helps you to bring in the things that you truly desire so it and it raises your vibration as well and when you raise your vibration when you are in this place of gratitude you are really standing in your power because you are telling the universe that you're grateful for all the things that you have and attracting even more things to come into your life so energy of the divine feminine you know it's about you being in gratitude of your life and all the things that you have in your life and the last card that came out is love so divine feminine you're also on in this energy of love you know you have that love for your divine masculine you are thinking about you know that relationship that you do want with your divine masculine as well so you are moving more into this energy of being open to that love and having that unconditional love as well towards your divine masculine trusting that in the right time you are going to share that love with them as well so really really beautiful messages coming through for the divine feminines here so let me put these back in case i need to use that deck and the next card that came out is um what is the karmic partner up to so what is the karmic partner up to so we're going to use the messages from uh the divine masculine to the divine feminine if i can pick these up let's uh, there we go so let's see thank you angels what is the karmic partner up to so we're going to use the messages from the divine masculine what is the karmic partner up to thank you angels what is the karmic partner up to what is the karmic partner up to thank you angels what is the karmic partner up to what is the karmic partner up to Okay, what is the coming partner up to? Okay, let's see what has come out here. So we asked what is the coming partner up to and the cards that have come out. So the first one is, I'm in planning mode right now. There's a lot that I have to do before I can walk away from this to toxic karmic. So this is really... That we ask the question, what is the karmic partner up to? And that's the one of the cards that has come out. It's like the divine masculine saying they are in planning mode. They want to get out of this situation. You know, this situation is toxic for them. You know, it's toxic for their soul. They just want to get out and be in a place that is where their soul is happy. And, you know, it is it's like a healthy sort of environment for their soul as well. So, you know, their coming partner, the situation is sort of toxic for their soul and they want to be able to get out of the situation. And the next card that came out is, I miss you so much. I know that I hurt you with the things I've said and done. I pray that you find it in your heart to forgive me. So this is your divine masculine again, talking to you. They are thinking about you. You know, this is nothing to do with the coming partner. This is about them thinking about you. They're missing you so much, their divine feminine and they are hoping that you forgive them so that's the message that has come through here 
I've been having major epiphanies about us these past few months. Our breakup actually helps me to learn things about myself that I need to change. I'm sorry that I blamed you for what happened. So, you know, this is your divine masculine. Again, we ask the question, what's the coming partner up to? It's like, you know, here, all your divine masculine is doing, if you look at these three cards, all your divine masculine is doing is thinking about you. You know, it, it, there's not been an answer about what is going on really with the coming partner apart from the fact that it's a toxic situation that they want to get out of you know it's like they're thinking about you they're thinking about their life they're thinking about the things that have happened in the past and they are also saying that breakup that you both had you know it has helped them to really sort of see where they did things wrong in their own life and they're learning about themselves about themselves right now and you know the things that they need to change so you know whatever this situation that they're in this coming situation it's actually helping your divine masculine to really sort of see where they went sort of went wrong in a way and where they truly want to be you know this situation is is sort of toxic for their soul whether it's a job whether it's you know whatever situation there may be if it's a relationship it's helping them to actually be in this position of looking at the life at their own life and wanting to make the changes that they want to make in their life and they're also saying in the heat of the moment, I told the comic that you're the one I want to be with and that I want you by my side. So uh, this is, again, them expressing their wanting to be with you. So, you know, they are saying here, if they are in a comic relationship, they may have actually said it that, you know, you're the one that they want to be with. And there, that is what is going on with the comic. The comic is realizing that it is only you that they truly desire. And your divine masculine is also showing you here that, you know, it's not about the comic at all. It is about you. So it doesn't matter what the comic is up to because it is all about you. You're the one that they're thinking about. Out, that your divine masculine wants to get out of this toxic situation they're also saying i've said to the karmic you know they want to be with you whether they've actually said it by name or you know it may not just be by name but they know that they want to get out of this situation because their mind is elsewhere they want to be with you their divine feminine so that is those are the messages that have that have come through I visualize being with you every chance I get. I am learning about the law of attraction. So that is all that they're doing. They're thinking about being with you. You know, that is where they, they are focused on you, their divine feminine. You know, it doesn't matter what the coming is up to is the message that is that is coming through here because this was saying, what is the coming partner up to? It doesn't matter what they are up to from the cards that have come out here because what matters is the way your divine masculine feels about you, the way they're working on making changes in their own life so that they can leave this karmic situation and be with you their divine feminine the one that they are thinking about and you know they every every visualizing being in their life you know they are sort of visualizing you back into their reality so those are the messages that have come out in relation to that question and the next question is message from the divine masculine to the divine feminine so what message does your divine masculine where is this one going there message from the divine masculine to the divine feminine so we are going to bring in divine masculine opens up so thank you angels what message is coming through from the divine masculine to the divine feminine what message is coming through from the divine masculine to the divine feminine any other message coming through okay so the message that they have for you today my nights are so lonely without you by my side. I miss you. So your divine masculine is saying to you today, they, they are nice and lonely without you. You know, they are missing you, their divine feminine. This is why they want to make those changes. If they have said that they want to get out of the situation, the comic situation or relationship that they are with, it's because they are missing you. They want to be with you, their divine feminine. So this is their message to you today. And the next card that came out is, I really want all the things that you want and I want them with you. A family, a home, a beautiful life together, going on adventures, growing old together. I desire what you desire. So your divine masculine is letting you know here, you know, really beautiful messages that they want the things that you want as well. They desire the things that you want. You know, they want a family, a home, a beautiful life together with you 
going on adventures, growing old together. So it doesn't matter what the coming partner is up to. What matters is what they want to do with you, their divine feminine. You're the only one who truly matters to them. So they are letting you know this. And they're also saying, no matter how things may look on the 3D, always remember that looks are deceiving and the 3D is an illusion. You have no idea how much mental anguish I am in behind closed doors. I just want out of this situation so my life can change for the better. So that's the message that they want you to know. You know what? There are things that are going on that you don't know about. And they're saying no matter how it may look on the 3D, which is just an illusion, you know, they are in mental anguish. They want to get out of that toxic situation that they may be in, you know, that's toxic for their soul. They want their life to change for the better. And that is why they're visualizing you, their divine feminine. They, that is why they are bringing you back into their reality, thinking about their life making changes in their own life so that they can be with you because you are the only one who truly matters to them so we are going to bring in another deck as well to see what are the message they have for you so we will bring in uh the divine masculine takes charge affirmations let's see what message they have about how they're taking charge of their own life so thank you angels how are the divine masculines taking charge of their own life okay wow so the first one that jumped out here is I am letting go of fear. So they're saying to you, I'm letting go of fear. You know, I'm now stepping into my power as a divine masculine, letting go of fear and working on doing the things that I need to do for myself to make the changes that I need to make in my life, you know, to make the changes and be able to walk away from situations that no longer serve me, you know, saying to their partner that they want to get out of this situation because it is you that they want to be with their divine feminine. So I am letting go of fear. And they're also saying to you, I deserve to be happy. So they are knowing now that they deserve to be happy. They've been looking at their life and thinking about their life and they know that they deserve to be happy and they want to make this change so that they can be happy in their life and they're also saying I am strong so they're getting stronger you know as they go through their transformation and awakening they are becoming stronger as well and they want you to know this you know you may not be able to see anything yet but they're letting go of fear they are becoming stronger they are transforming and they are moving forward as well and they want you to know this and they're also saying I deserve true love in my life. So, you know, they deserve that true love in their life. They are now understanding this and they're making changes in their life, working on the things that they need to work on so that they can be able to get out of their situation that they're in to be able to have that true love in their life. And that true love is you, their divine feminine. And they're also saying, I'm letting go of anger, inner conflict and mental anguish. So, you know, this is that mental anguish, the things that go on in relation to fear. So they're working on releasing their fear. They're working on releasing, you know, that conflict so that they can be able to do what they want to do to move forward towards this love that they deserve. Because they're also saying, I am worthy. I am worthy of having this life that I truly desire and they want to move forward towards this love so that was all the questions that came out oh what are the what's challenging the connection so then we've got two more we've got Aries energy so we'll do Aries energy that's the next question that came out Aries energy we are going to bring in the almost tarot again so maybe your divine masculine is Aries or maybe this is you so thank you, angels. What, what message is coming through for Aries energy? Okay, so for Aries energy, so the cards that came out is surrender and let go. So the angels are saying, you know, it's about surrendering and letting go. Trust that everything is working out exactly as it is meant to work out. Your divine masculine is doing what they need to do. You know, they are working on themselves. They're working on making changes in relation to their life. So you're being asked to surrender, let go. Trust that divine intervention is coming in to help to move things forward to your union. So 
you're being asked right now to focus on you, stand in your power as a divine feminine and surrender, you know, and let go and trust that it is all coming in at the right time. Let go of the struggle. That's the message that's coming through. You know, let go of the struggle. Let go of the trying to make things happen and just trust that it is all going to come in. So it's about surrendering to the creator and saying, you know, I trust that you are going to bring this in for me at the right time. So let go and surrender. And there may also be solitude coming in for you here. So, you know, this may be for your divine masculine. This may be showing you that, you you know, if they, your divine masculine's Aries or your Aries, that there is this solitude that is coming in. This is the time for them to sort of step into their power. But this is also, you know, the time for you to step into your power. You know, you may have gone through a separation that has led to this solitude, but this is a time for your healing a time for your divine masculine's healing as well to help you both to keep moving forward on your journey. So you may be going through this time of solitude or your divine masculine is also going through this time of solitude, which is what is helping them to realize, you know, the things that they truly want for their life as well and to make the changes that they want to make in their life. What's challenging the connection? So we are going to bring in, for challenging the connection, let's bring in... Uh, the light seers uh, tarot. So thank you, angels. What is challenging? What is challenging the connection? What is challenging the connection right now? What is challenging the connection? What is challenging the connection? Okay, let's see what's coming out here. So what is challenging to the connection? Ah, so the first card that came out is the seven of swords. So the seven of swords really is about sort of deception. So there is what is challenging the collection connection right now is sort of like the divine masculine there sort of not telling you exactly how they're feeling. It's like they're sort of hiding away from you, their divine feminine. It's like they're creeping around in a way, you know, not telling you exactly how they feel. So that's what's challenging the connection. It's like this deceptive energy that is coming through from your divine masculine and you know them not moving forward to tell you how they actually feel and there's some crows as well you know I, if, if i don't know if anyone else has been seeing a lot of crows i've been seeing crows so much even when i was on holiday i was walking down with one of the other ladies and and i had been talking about crows and how i see them often you know, there's always crows, even when I walk, go for a walk, a crow, a crow always crosses my path. So this is really powerful that this card has got that crow that is really screaming there. Because when we walked past this field when I was on my holiday and, um, and, and I suddenly looked to my left and I was like, oh my goodness, are those crows? And it was like a field of crows. I don't know where they came from. And they were making so much noise to sort of attract our attention and, and she was like, oh my goodness, yes, they are. But when at the moment we sort of looked at where they were, they all sort of just landed and stopped making noise. So, you know, the crows are sort of, if you are seeing crows, they are sort of coming in, giving you a message as well, because that is what, you know, crows are all about sort of intuition and, you know, sort of secrets being revealed as well. But, you know, this is powerful that that is on there. And I just thought I would mention that. So if you are seeing crows as well, but, you know, this is showing that your divine masculine is hiding away. You know, they are being deceptive towards you and this is the challenge that is in your journey right now because they're not coming forward to tell you exactly how they feel and then what else is challenging for the journey so the next card that came out is the hierophant and the hierophant really is about a spiritual journey <clears throat> pardon me you know and uh, so the hierophant is about a spiritual journey and you know that was like a block as well on, on my path or in, in my throat and that's about the divine masculines not opening up to say exactly how they feel but the Hierophant is about a spiritual journey. So that is the divine masculine sort of on their spiritual, on their spiritual journey. You know, they are starting to go through this transformation and awakening, which is all about, you know, sort of awakening, moving up those stairs. And they are going through this time of awakening, this time of transformation, this time of really finding out who they truly are. So this can be, this is a block as well that's coming in because they need to go through this time of their spiritual growth as well, their spiritual 
spiritual transformation so that they can keep moving forward on their own journey and they can truly step into their divine masculine power so that is also what's blocking the the, the challenge that's in in on the journey right now is that they need to go up on their spiritual growth as well and they are still doing this you know because they are sort of still hiding away being deceptive and not sort of speaking their truth yet but they are sort of on their spiritual journey now they are going through this time of transformation to help them to keep moving forward towards truth which will lead them to speaking to you their divine feminine as well and the next card that came out this is a positive challenge this is what is moving the journey forward so this is uh fate and destiny this is the will this is showing you that you know even though there may be these challenges of the divine masculine not being deceptive not telling you how they feel however the will of fortune is moving things forward so you know the positive change is coming in because fate and destiny has got this the divine invent intervention is coming in to move things forward in relation to your journey so you know this is this came out as as challenge but it's actually a positive thing that is helping the journey need to move forward so those are the messages that have come out today in relation to you know the questions that we're asking powerful messages coming through i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light